Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jordi from Yepper Design and welcome to the Adobe Premiere Pro basic training. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to export your video to a video on your hard drive. Okay. Um, so let's get started. Uh, we've just made our video. Um, we've got some effects on it. It's just a little small stupid video. But uh, let us export this one. So we go to File say export and then we can choose between movie frame audio and blah 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 um well you can choose movie but it would be stupid because uh adobe, uh, adobe Prem premiere pro has a built-in media encoder uh, so we click on adobe media encoder okay so it's a really good one um this window will open up and uh, to start, we have uh, two tabs. We've got source and we got output. On the source, we see our source video. Okay, we can scrub through in time. And on the output, we see our output video, how it would look like if we, once we have exported it. Okay. Um, we can choose some export settings to start. Uh, a format. Uh, we've got MPEG videos, uh, got MPEG Blu-rays, DVDs, uh, for all kinds of stuff. I'm uh, going to be honest with you guys about Windows Media Codecs. I don't know anything about it. Okay, I'm a Mac user. Okay, I just installed Windows to make these tutorials for you. I know I'm a good guy. Yeah. Um, so I can explain uh, lots of things about QuickTime videos, um, how to get the best quality uh, out of your videos. Okay. So we just choose QuickTime. So I also really recommend to use QuickTime. Okay, it's a really good one. Um, then the range uh, we just use entire sequence. Okay, the sequence is this one here. Your sequence. Uh, so your uh, timeline, uh, all your media files together. Um, then we can choose a preset. Um, in most cases, um, in almost every cases. <laughs> You you're gonna choose the same settings as you used for your uh, project settings. So in this case, I used a HDV setting, uh, 720p. That's the one I used. So I'm just gonna click on the 720p. I used uh, I don't know which one I used anymore. I think 24 frames per second or 25. Just gonna gonna pick one. Um, okay. Um, so you choose. Uh, that uh, preset, okay. If you clicked on it, uh, you've got some tabs here, you've got filters, uh, but your uh, video and uh, audio alternates others, okay. Uh, we're gonna start with the video settings. Make sure you have this one linked on export video. If you don't have this one linked on, you see, at least one media has to be selected. Um, if you think on uh, audio, uh, for example, you see you can't, you're not at a, um, exporting your video, so I have to think it on, all right? Uh, I'm gonna unthink uh, the audio. Um, you see very bad quality. That means uh, we are using a wrong video codec and settings. So we go back to our presets. I'm gonna click on our HDV settings, and we have good quality. Um, then we got some uh, options right here for a video, so make sure this one is uh, thing on. Uh, we're gonna increase the quality of your video to 100, or to 50, or to whatever zero. Let's <laughs> um, just take uh, around 80 or 100. Let's just take 100. Okay. Uh, the size of your video. If you bring this one down, you see what happens to your video. So we don't we don't want that. We're gonna take the original size. Okay, uh, your frames per seconds. We can choose whatever we want. Um, doesn't really matter. Twenty-four is good enough. Field order. Um, and that's the same as I uh, explained to you in my first tutorial. Just take non-progressive. That's good. The pixel aspect. Uh, you're working with HDV uh, settings, so uh, with the 720p. So that are square pixels. Okay. If you use something else like a uh, DV widescreen uh, pixels, you see what happens. Okay, so we don't want that. We want the same as our source. Uh, something else. Uh, if you want to have insane good quality, you can increase this thing to uh, lots of bitrate, but that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um, 
make sure you stick around this number 4000 um, or 5000 um, kilobits per, so per second that's more than enough to have good quality okay now the audio if you want to also to export your audio make sure your export audio is synced on right here um, an audio codec there are lots of codecs right here um, there's only one I really recommend uh, I didn't test them all but um, no that doesn't Q design was the um, the so Q design music 2 is a very good audio codec okay use stereo or mono whatever you want and um, we are at uh, 32 kilohertz I recommend 48 kilohertz that's a good quality okay um, well that's it you got more tabs like alternates if you want to loop it if you want to auto play it uh, stuff like that with loop I mean if the video is done playing it just starts again with auto play it means if you open up the video it starts playing immediately then you got some other options for uploading your video and blah 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 but that's up to you if you really want to use that those things that uh, you just think on FTP and whatever um, I've never used that, those, those things before um, if you want to use it you just need to test it yourself okay um, so that's for the audio and video let me just export the video you press OK you give it a name um, test okay we're in a QuickTime video and we press save and it will start rendering now and save your video okay you can open up render details okay so it's rendering each frame as you see we have 80 frames and I have around a two second video there we go it's opened up um let me just show you the video now so let me just open up my documents there we go and here's our test video it's uh, 1.66 megabyte uh, if you want to have a lower uh, if this is too big for if you're hosting this video uh, then you should pick um, something else so here's, here's the video let me just pray it okay well this is good quality well it looks like it's bad quality because I added uh, noise to it so let me just um, do it again uh, I'm gonna remove the noise okay in this case I'm also gonna remove the basic 3d so uh, you got this video I'm gonna do it again gonna say file export media encoder uh, the quality just let's just move it to 100 uh, kilobits per second so well, let's just take 10 okay if it doesn't really uh, more you pick of this so better quality and you know, less so lesser your quality is of course I don't think um, uh, I'm gonna override the test one. So yes, it's exporting. It's rendering each frame. Uh, okay, it's done. Uh, I open up my documents, and here's a test. Uh, as you see, it's uh, it's a larger file now. It's almost three megabytes uh, megabytes now. Um, okay, let me just open up. Uh, but you see we have a better quality now see this is very good quality okay that's it for exporting videos um, I hope you learned something out of this tutorial and uh, thank you for watching